you, we talked the other day and you, you threw out this stat to me that, that really shocked me. And it yeah. was of all the players you've sent to college, uh, you said 50-50 uh, about their experience. Can you explain that a little bit? Because to me, it blew my mind. Yeah. Um, I, so, you know, let's just call it of the th- over 300 kids, let's just say 300 for sake of conversation, 150 probably had a good college experience where it's like, you know, they finished college and you say, hey, how was it playing college basketball? Where they'd be like, yeah, that was awesome. The other 50% were like, yo, it sucked. That I hate my coach, you know, I hate, I hate my coach is probably the most <laughs> common, right? But I, I'd say 50% had a good experience, 50% didn't. Now, I would go as far to say, and I'm totally pulling this number out of thin air, so don't hold me to it, 80% would, at least if not 90%, would say, I'd go back and do it again, even though it wasn't a good experience, because of all the things that it teaches you. Um, you know, suffering is, is a great teacher. Um, let's, let's not forget that. But the, uh, you know, so I'd say it's, yeah, it's like a 50, 50 shot. I mean, when I finished college basketball, I was so burned out (laughs) from basketball. I, uh, I'm six, nine. I played, I played through college at like six, nine, two forty. I actually bulked up to like six, nine, two sixty. So if I'm out and about, I got to the point where people weren't asking me, Oh, you, are you really tall? You, you must be a basketball player. It was like, Oh man, you're really big. Are you a football player? And I'm like, Oh, this is cool. Because I was like done being a basketball player. Now I, I kind of came out of the funk and obviously my life is basketball again. Um, you know, we talked about this, my wife, her, her, her last game at Fairfield university walking out of the arena, she threw her basketball shoes in the trash. She walked by the trash can and just dropped them right in the trash. Like she was so burned out. She was done. Um, it, that's not that uncommon that those stories are not that uncommon. You know, I've got, we've got, you know, plenty of players that, that, you know, I know that are friends of mine that, that I played with over the years or players that we've trained over the years who, after they finished playing college basketball, they don't play anymore. Mm-hmm. They're done. They don't, necessarily you know, watch basketball a little bit but not that much but they don't play they don't want to be a part of it they don't want to coach it they're just they're done 